seeing that cat, even if he is a little wrong, does make me feel better. If I may be so bold, I was thinking that we should pump up the jam. The following takes place between 6 o'clock and 6.05 p.m. All events take place in real time. around here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Jackpot. All I'm gonna do is crack this baby. Access denied. Access denied. Hello, talk to me. It's me. You got the goods? I know you can see me on the cam. Does it look like I got the fucking goods? Take a look at this. It's my hand security, eh? This ought to be fun. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm running out of time here. That old bat is gonna be back any minute. A minute is a minute longer than I need. Can you get the specs? Uh, yeah, I'm on it. All right. Okay. Reporting, reporting, reporting. Confirm receipt. Uh, we've got liftoff. Ah, an IS-732. Well, Mrs. Glockenspiel, I didn't know you had it in you. Can you get in? Just hang tight. You got the backup plan? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on it. Uh, password, password. If I were a password, what would I be? I got it. Come on! Hang tight. Access granted. <laughs> you sick bastard. The devil's password. <sighs> She's all yours. Open sesame. <gasps> Have you found the mother load? Oh my God, and then some. She's got rules in here to last for 20 fucking years. That hoarding asshole. Well, load it up. By my calculations, you have one minute till contact. Whiny babies. What do you want? All of them. You know what that stuff's worth on the brown market? <laughs> Tissue gold. When Naomi gets back, she's gonna stand against that wall and drop the bag of goods slowly. Very 
slowly. Then the two of you can hit the streets. But, but we're family. Family, family. What has the family ever given me except an excessive amount of laundry? I need a gosh in my chips while I still have a good hand. But, but we love you. And I love money. Now stand up, put your hands behind you. Of course, Margaret. Follow directions and there's no reason to be afraid. But, Margaret, I'm not afraid. You're afraid. Oh! Oh! Dad! Dad, are you okay? Never better. Now get that paper. Roger. Oh, and one more thing. Could you see if they have any beer in the fridge? <laughs> yeah, I'm already on it. Great. I have a feeling the governor could use a corona right about now. <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to Adventure Shots. My name is Christian and this is my lovely wife and co-host, Melissa. Hello. Uh, the play you just saw was called Five by Melissa Morell, directed by her husband, Chris Morell, acted by Marianne Rogers, Malcolm Rogers, and Siobhan Doherty. Now, if you're new to Shots, uh, let me just tell you what it's all about. Normally, we assemble teams of theater artists and we give them a few weeks to write and rehearse six short plays. These plays are precast and need to adhere to about three themes. We perform these plays for one night only, usually in a theater. But tonight, the plays were written over one week, rehearsed over one week, and are being streamed live right here. That's right, live right here. <laughs> Why the difference? Well, no theater for one. And number two, everyone has a ton of free time. And um, number three, we shouldn't go outside. And bonus, we get to act with people from across the country. Uh, we have people from California, New York City, Indiana, Tennessee, and Colorado involved in this. Now, tonight's themes are some sort of adventure must be had. An object must magically appear. And number three, include the line, I'm not afraid, you're afraid. Uh, this is a free event, obviously, but if you are, we are accepting donations if you want to give us something. So uh, it's at amioswest.org. You can find the link below in the description. I've always wanted to do that to point down. Anyway, the money will help our expenses and, and allow us to help some artists, uh, friends in need. Uh, trigger warning, there is cursing, which you've already heard, and there are discussions of sex. So here we go. This quarantine has made some of us ask a lot of questions, maybe even attempt to reconnect with our past. In an online seance, give it up for Adventures in the Spirit World by Jeremy Cole, directed by Melanie Bandera Hess, acted by Jesse Lum, Alyssa McGrill, and Jean Carey. Arbimet, I invoke you, James. Wow! <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? All too well. Please decrease the volume. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Arbimet, I invoke you, Mary. Oh, consider me invoked. Wow, I, I'm James. Hello, James. It's not AA meeting. Focus. <laughs> Welcome to virtual seance. In order to reach the spirit realm, we must have the concentration, must have the silence, must have 
The darkness means turn off lights, please. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now we all reach out and take the hand. Hold hands on Zoom? And how exactly is that supposed to work? Use the imagination, reach! Okay, and now we close the eyes. Both of the eyes, James. I shall now summon the spirit guide. Udejue spirti kuyeri! Ah, Madamakash, really? So we meet again. Ah, I see there are two beings here today. Well, who are you? Speak. Uh, I'm Mary. James. Hello, Mary, James. Why are you in uh, different places? Uh, it's kind of a long story. There's actually- That was a rhetorical I... question. I can see all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another plague? Oh no, I died from one of those already. I'm not going through that again. <laughs> Seriously, can a spirit even catch a virus? Ectoplasm isn't immune to shit. No antibodies. Wow. That... That sucks. Like a vacuum. (laughs) Okay, uh, in order to continue, you must both come to me. Uh, We're not allowed to leave our homes. I'm talking about spiritual travel. Uh, Sure, I'll bite. I have literally nothing else to do. Um, How do we do this spiritual traveling? You will need blood and an incantation, and and I will do the rest. Uh, wh- whose blood? Your blood. Here, uh, simply prick your thumbs with these. Oh, oh, what the hell? Where did this come from? You don't really want us to stab ourselves, do you? Yes. A- and draw blood? Yes. What's the matter, Shaggy? You afraid? I'm not afraid. You're afraid. Oh! Uh, Now what do we do? Now you must taste the blood and chant the phrase, Desandere sup me four times to pierce the veil. Desandere sup me, Uh, that's, uh, take me below. Thank you, Catholic School Latin. Okay, James, you ready? Ready. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, ready. Descendere sub me. Descendere sub me. Descendere sub me. Descendere sub me. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't. Nothing happened. Well, that was anticlimactic. We lost Madame Akashvili, though. Now what do we do? Holy shit! What? What happened? I, I can't touch anything. My hand just went right through my phone and my, my cup. Look! Oh my god! What? I can't touch anything either! It worked! We are in the spirit world! Oh, oh cool! I, I thought it would look different. Yeah. Uh, so, no guide. Nope. Looks like we've been dumped. Story of my life. Who are you trying to find? Me, I, uh, I was hoping 
That's, no, it doesn't matter. Who were you looking for? Um, my mother. I am so sorry. Um, well, you should try to call her or summon her, whatever. Uh, I'll go look for the guide if you want to give it a shot. Worth a try. Here goes. Mom? Are you there? It's, it's me, Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy? Is that you? What are you doing? Are you dead too now? Oh, what did you do? You were driving too fast, weren't you? You're not wearing your seatbelt. Drinking. <laughs> I always knew you would come to a bad end. I told your father. I said, Howard, this boy is a complete waste of a sperm and an egg. We put more effort into making that sorry excuse for a son than he ever put into anything. <laughs> Except maybe jerking off in the bathroom. Hmm? <laughs> No, I told him we should put you up for adoption. We never meant to have you. You were a total mistake. And obviously missing a few cards from your deck. But would your father listen to me? No. You know, he was off with his Goodbye, son. Mom! Oh. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I must have uh, uh, drifted off for a second there. Um, uh, did you have any luck? Yes, thank you. I never got to say goodbye to her before, but now I have, so that's good. I'm glad, your closure's good. Yeah. Your turn. Me, okay. Um... Cody? Cody? <laughs> Cody, is that you? <laughs> Cody, hey, hey, buddy. Oh, who's a good boy, huh? <laughs> who's a good boy? Yeah, hey, I have really missed you. Um, hey, listen, uh, I just, I had to see you one more time. I wanted to say, honey, I'm sorry. You know, I am so sorry. I just wanted to, um... <laughs> I love you, Cody. I will always love you, okay? <laughs> you are a very, very good boy. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Are, you, are you okay? Uh, uh, yes, James. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. So it worked? You, uh, you found them? Yes. I found him. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I found you, thank goodness. I've gotta get you both back to the temporal world before you're stuck here forever. Works for me. Uh, what happened to your accent? Um, there are no accents in the spirit realm. Okay, <laughs> now, uh, now reach out your hands and lean in and bow your heads and close your eyes. Hello, Jimmy. Uh. All right, all right. Aw. Wait, how did he get her number? Anywho, best friends are great. 
unless they're going through an existential crisis. This next play explores an extreme example. It's called Baptism by Sky, written by Claire Rice, directed by Molly Noble, acted by Christian Haynes and Vince Pazzo. I mean, get a load of this view, will ya? Yeah. Baptism by sky, I like to call it. I've been reborn up here. You know, I feel so free, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, buying this plane uh, has been the single best decision I ever made in my life. You know, up here, I am in control. I'm the master of my own destiny. You can see that, right? You can see that I'm happier, right? You can see that I'm like doing better, like right? Like my, my life is coming together. You can see that, right, Billy? You can you can see that. Yeah. Bill, you haven't said much. Yeah. <laughs> I brought you up here to show you that I'm finally getting my life together. You know, that, that, that it, it feels like you couldn't even give a shit, man. I mean, I took flying lessons. I bought a replica World War II biplane. I'm not sitting on my couch feeling sorry for myself. I did this. Yeah, yeah. The least you can do is care, man. It's just, uh, I'm worried. I'm worried that this is just a phase, that once the euphoria wears off, I'm gonna back to the way I was. But, but I won't. I'm, I'm, I'm a new man. Okay. <laughs> Is it the money? Yeah, do you think I you think I can't afford this? It, it's all paid for. I, I didn't spend a cent of the money I got after my dad died either. I, I didn't even cash up my retirement. I didn't tell anyone, but uh, I sold my mom's house in Portland. Oh, God. I know. I know. Uh, I've been saying for years that I would redo it myself and make it my project, but uh, I realized I was just holding on to a part of my life that had died with her. It was just dead weight, literally. I left it behind, man. I'm, a, I'm above it. I'm literally above it. Baptism by sky! Yeah! Hey. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, I just don't even talk. I know exactly what you're thinking, and this is all part of my fear that I'll fall into that pit again, that pit of self-pity and shame. But I won't, man. I'm above it. I'm a above and beyond it. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid. You're afraid. Yes. Yes, I am. I am afraid. I knew it. I'm afraid of heights. Wait, what? You said you had a surprise for me. I, I kind of thought it would be about me because it's my birthday. But, but then you showed me this plane you bought. I thought, cool, well, whatever he needs to do to get through all the things. When you asked me to sit in the plane, I didn't know you knew how to fly. And you didn't even ask if we could go up, you just did it. And I'm afraid of heights, man. I've been sitting back here thinking this whole time, we're gonna die. So yeah, I'm afraid. All right, do me a favor. See that stick in front of you? Yeah. Grab it with both hands. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. You are now flying the plane. What? Ah! 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 Okay. Ah! Okay. Okay. You are in control. Why would you do that? Hey, don't worry, it's a training plane. I, I can take control back at any time. You've got this. You are in control, say it. I am in control. You are in control. I... I'm in control. Whoa! Wow. Okay, I got the stick. I got it. Now listen, I knew it was your birthday. I got something for you. Stay good. Okay. Happy birthday, Phil. Thanks. No. 
I do get it, man. I get it. And I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm still afraid. It's okay. I am too. It is beautiful up here, though. Baptism by sky. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, can we land now? Oh. I haven't gotten to that part of the lessons yet. What? <laughs> kidding, kidding. <laughs> Oh, happy birthday, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Great job. Great job, guys. I made those brownies with coconut oil because I had no butter and I didn't want to risk my life to get some. Have you ever had a date go someplace you never expected? Well, check this date out. It's called Swipe Right, written by P. Seth Bauer, directed by Christian Haynes, acted by Eduardo Esqueda, and Megan Todd. Have fun. Hi. Uh, so thank you for swiping right on me. No problem. So, is this your first time on Zoom Tinder? Nope. Oh, cool. It's mine though, my first time. I'll bear that in mind. So, Daphne, like from Scooby-Doo. Greek mythology. Huh? But I do have great legs, just like Daphne. Oh, because <laughs> I can't quite see. I'm a naiad. It's a type of nymph associated with fountains, wells, springs, streams, brooks, and other bodies of fresh water. Nymph, huh? Cool. And you die in Troy. Achilles gets you. You mean like the Achilles heel? Yeah, except he kills you first after you kill 30,000 Greeks, you're kind of a badass. I hear that. But you're also kind of a dick. What? Hey. <laughs> so, are you ready? For what? For our date, Hector the Trojan. Oh, most definitely. So like, how does this work? Do I like, do we like virtually hook up or like? Um... We're already virtually hooked up for real yes you're right here with me in my zoom oh cool so do you want me to take off my or are you gonna like close your eyes for real close them close your eyes hector i'm gonna give you something really uh-huh okay like what? I'm going to give you an adventure. Nice. Now, close. Put out your hands. Keep them closed. No peeking or it won't work. No! What? What? How did you? Did you give me? Put it over your eyes. What the fuck is going on? Now, Hector, there isn't much time. Do it. I, I'm still a little stuck with. It's an adventure, Hector. Just go with it. Do you trust me? I don't even know you. We both swiped right. God damn it. Now put it on. There ain't much time. Three, two, one. Now then, card. I reckon this desert ain't big enough for the both of us. What? Where are we? Mexico's two days ride down yonder. 
you can get down that trail a piece. I'll give you a fair start, say 30 seconds. What about our date? You best saddle up now. But everything was going so well. Daphne, uh, our date, it's me, your date, you swiped right on me. It don't have to end like this. I come from miles away, from the engine territory, just to see your pretty face. See if you look, can look into your heart. Forgive an old, no good cow man, such as your darling Hector. What are you fixing to say? Old Hector's gonna protect you. When the evil forces set on your trail, or you're getting shot up at saloon, or even if your ride's got a gimpy leg and your bottom is starting to swell from the pain, Hector's gonna be right beside you, calling your name in the wind and wishing you love him wherever you may roam. Don't you be afraid. I'm not afraid. You're afraid. Well, I reckon there's some truth to that. I am afraid. Deathly afraid of losing your love. But if this is how we must part, so be it. Go on and shoot. But before you do, Tell me you still got eyes for me. They'll be here soon. Curly and the boys. Not Curly. How many? Ten. Maybe twelve. We'll make it for the ridge. If we're lucky, we can get them off at the gold. You ready? Darling. What is it? What troubles you? It's just, I wasn't sure you'd come after me. I held out hope, but in the end you did. Thank you for swiping right. It's my honor, little lady. You're my naiad. And you're my handsome Trojan. Let's ride. Hey -ya! Get on, boy. Has anybody been watching Westworld? Such a loving show. I think the people upstairs from me are uh, exercising, just to let you know. Okay, so existential worries are all the rage right now, especially if you are a fish. Are you a fish or eel out of water? Marco? Polo? This is Aquarium Woes by Christopher McGee, directed by Jennifer McRae Rincon, acted by Melissa Ortiz, Joshua Coomer, and Lauren Burst. Enjoy. Seventy-two degrees, another lovely day. Nice current here by the filter, same as always. That's a good sign. And you, looking lovely this morning, hot dog. Hmm? I said looking lovely this morning. Your hue, I mean. Nice pallor. <gasps> That's odd. Where on earth did this treasure chest come from? It's been there, dear. Has it? Well, the tank sure looks nice. I see they've done the algae recently. Just this morning, darling. I'm certain you were watching. Oh, I hardly pay any attention anymore. Tank looks good now, that's my point. When do you suppose they'll feed us? You've been fed, dear. Then why not a castle for myself? For the sword tails, absolutely. Why, of course, for the sword tails. We mustn't risk upsetting the sword tails. Here we go. And for me, a log. A log instead of a castle? Can you imagine? Well, you hardly need to, just look. Yes, yes. 
uh, you know, a sunken ship, disappointing in and of itself, but preferable to a log, a sunken ship, I would accept under protest, but a log and simply the log, a log and no castle, no sunken ship, no diver and hose. And just look at the sword tails, unacceptable, unfair. Butterscotch, my dear, this is no way to live. Always going on about the sword tails or the clownfish. Unjust criminal even and me all alone they have company why should i be alone why you've eaten everyone they've put in there with you darling why not them of course i'm not speaking of them why would you bring them up 72 degrees another lovely day nice current here by the filter i take that as a good sign and you looking lovely this morning hot dog nice pallor Thank you, dear. Well, Butterscotch. I'm just saying, you never seemed happy with company either. Well, now about that. I I've thought about it. I've narrowed it down. I really chewed on it, I mean. And I am convinced it was the eyes. The eyes? Yeah, the eyes. The eyes, the eyes. Those bulbous, swollen, rotating, wildly hideous things. Uh, oh, and then there was the gasping. <gasps> but, dear, you gasped. <gasps> have either of you noticed this treasure chest before? I do not gasp. I have never gasped. But as I said, it wasn't simply the gasping. Primarily, and after a great deal of thought, I've realized it was the eyes. So you said. That's why I ate them. The eyes. I ate them, and I don't feel bad about it. Don't you dare try and make me feel remorse. I wouldn't dream of trying, dear. Mm -hmm. You know, and if they could find me a suitable partner, I feel that I could be quite welcoming, warm even. I could have this part of the tank. Mm -hmm. But of course, I would very much miss this part of the tank. Yes, of course, it would be so terribly hard to part with. Well, I can't tell if you're being patronizing. I've never been able to tell. I'd really appreciate it if you'd go right on and tell me if you're being patronizing, because it's really not fair to go on doing it without telling me if you are. I was being patronizing, dear. 72 degrees, another lovely day. There's a nice current here by the filter. Oh, you know, I can hardly expect to be chosen with simply the log and not sand either. I'm adrift. What? What is it? What? Are you listening to me? Why are you making that face? I was just thinking about your condition. Do you perhaps need to expel your eggs? But no, I don't. I mean, I haven't. Not in years. Tank sure looks nice, don't you think? They must have done the algae recently. You're too uptight. You need to relax. When do you suppose they'll feed us? Uh, Einstein, we're having a convert. You've been fed, dear. Oh, and let me not forget the quality of the food. A little blood worm. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't turn my nose up at that. I do like the blood worm and the shrimp. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Uh, what I'm saying, I'm saying is that I would maybe like a bit, not just the flakes. I mean, some variety is what I'm getting at. Are they bringing the flakes around then? You've had yours. And I'm sure you'll have yours soon too, dear. You aren't listening. I've grown tired of the flakes. I will no longer eat the flakes. From this moment on, I make of this tank a place of protestation. They can throw all the flakes in the world into this tank and there'll be nothing for it. And when, at last, they look at my starving, beleaguered body, they'll say, it ought not to have been just the flakes. We were fools, a bit of bloodworm, a dash of shrimp. These things we could have spared, but lo, withheld and at such terrible cost, terrible cost. Mark my words hot dog from this moment forth not a single solitary flake crosses these sweet flakes delicious flakes dear god i'm starving well there's always tomorrow butterscotch 72 degrees another lovely day yes laugh it up hot dog don't think I don't realize I've lost it all every single drip and ounce of dignity I once had now you listen to me I've been here a long time, quite a bit longer than you. I've lived through boon times and lean times alike. I was born in the silt of a riverbank where green overhangs tremble on a 
gently glistening surface. Through rocks and sunken leaves I swam. Where do I swim now? Do not speak to me of dignity, neither me nor Einstein. <gasps> Where on earth did this treasure chest come from? It's been there, dear. Has it? Well, the tank sure looks nice. <laughs> it does indeed. Well noticed, Einstein. Do you think they've cleaned the algae this morning? I was just going to mention. You really shouldn't speak to him like that. Oh, it hardly matters. I've yet to find an insult that stick. I assume he's equally immune to my sarcasm. It sticks, dear, it sticks. Every barb, every jab, every backhanded comment, whether you see it or not, it sticks. Hundreds of wounds all over his heart. When do you think they'll be bringing the food around? Well, I don't like it. Oh, God, what I wouldn't give to be chosen to have the great green sky, sky net swoop in and take me away from this what are you place. doing? You know, not to mention the great green sky net gatherer of fish souls to hold in anti-water, drag skyward in rough flop embrace. The great ape beyond the glass holds an observation as gaps, 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 and all is bright light and breathless. I have seen the cold malice in the eyes that face forward, the square teeth that are caged to the fat red eel that struggles in oceans of sound, <gasps> flops as I flop, yet I cannot scream for the anti-water will not enter the gill. Einstein, Einstein, come back. The sky nut is gone. Butterscotch, you have outdone yourself. You know not to mention the sky nut around him. You know how it frightens him. He's not afraid. Are you afraid, Einstein? I'm not afraid. Are you afraid? I'm not afraid. You're afraid, Einstein. 72 degrees, another lovely day. Yes. Yes. You see, it's all pointless. We're trapped and time warps back in on itself as water in the wheel. All that is good and right in the world goes to the sword tails and the rest of us get the logs, the sunken ships, if we're lucky, the little diver and the hose. And so who can blame us if we eat the eyes of any they plop in with us? I do hate the sword tails. Looking lovely this morning, hot dog. Nice pallor. Thank you, Einstein. Oh, <gasps> my goodness, a treasure chest. Where on earth did this come from? Magic, my dear. <laughs> Life could be so simple. All right, meanwhile, back in reality, two friends take some time to connect in Expiration Date by Sabina Pearsall, directed by Melissa Ortiz, acted by Lucy Van Atta, Kenny Toll, and Nady Rojo. Enjoy. Like, what am I doing right this second? Uh, you're gonna laugh. What are you doing? You go, I'm doing something dumber. I'm looking in my freezer. Shut up, so am I. <laughs> Saddest Wednesday night ever. Where is it? My host family left last week for their country house. Grandma said she left me a treat. I hope it involves cheese or creme fraiche. Ooh, what do we got here? This <laughs> expired in 2016. Woo! Also, isn't it like 1 a.m. there? Did I call you? What is wrong with my brain? I called you, I think? Okay, this looks like cheese. Let's spread it on some really old bread I just found. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know this might be weird timing, but I wanted to apologize for something. Really? 
Well, as they say, eating dairy products on the phone with your best friend from high school is a good time to get real. Okay, good. So, wait, is this about sleeping with moose? Oh, I am not sorry about that. Best sex of my life. You gave him to me. I was gonna say, I remember we were smoking cigarettes up the street from your parents' house. You were like, I'm done and you should definitely take a turn. I wonder if Moose is still hot. Did you hit it? Sight unseen. Quick, yes or no? Uh, yes, because- Every time. Every time. And always an internal one. Oh, how did he do that? I think it was a slight curve. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for that, actually. That's what friends are for. Anyway, what did you want to apologize for? Oh yeah, I wanted to re-apologize for making out with your junior prom date and lying about it. Really, really uncool of me. You didn't hold it against me at all. You were still the best laugh partner all of senior year. Anyway, sorry for doing that. Hashtag selfish. Uh, you made out with Chris at junior prom? Well, yeah, you knew about that, right? No. Maria, he was my boyfriend. I mean, granted, things weren't that great between us at the time, but you had no right to go in there. And so what, you just own all these guys and I'm supposed to wait around for permission to date them? Is this because you feel entitled to whatever you want whenever you want it, princess? Own? Are you for real right now? This is your apology? Ladies, ladies. Hello, it's been a couple of years. Well, what the fuck? Fuck, Ma Maria, are you still there? Yes, and do you see what I'm seeing? She does. Don't worry, ladies. I'm right here in the freezer, but I'm not cold. Uh, is that, did you call him? I did not call him, did my phone? I mean, he's not in my contacts and you never delete any guys from your phone, so. And Do we think he's real? I'm eating possibly moldy brown bread. And Mrs. Berkmeyer said once in sophomore bio that eating the mold on brown bread can make you hallucinate, so. I am an image spinning on the zodiac of life's endless phantasmagoria. Of course I'm real, or am I? I am here to help mend your broken friendship fence, process feelings, have phone sex, group or individual, whatever you ladies need, just say the word. <laughs> group phone sex? She would never do that, let alone in real life. What? Look, I'm not afraid. Maybe you're afraid. Well, I'm not saying you're afraid. I'm just saying you're waspy. My bad. Less adventurous, more ivory tower. Sorry, again. Sometimes I feel like you don't even know me. Ladies, ladies, how about a tune to smooth the tension? It is Wednesday after all. What do you want her to know about you, Sadie? Let it out. Look, I know it may seem like things have gone my way, but for the record, I don't think the world owes me anything. I wish that you'd see me for me and not some caricature of me. And also, I'm a lot less square than you think, especially since I moved to New York. I'm sorry, Sadie. I've been triggered by stuff lately that has nothing to do with you and I'm being petty. You're a sensitive, good person. Also, sorry for assuming you wouldn't want to have a virtual threesome with me and a possible apparition. That was close-minded of me. You know what? It's okay. You know what I'm not sorry about? Oh my God, he's still here. <laughs> Hi, um, are you still doing that Shakespeare stuff in the summers? Or do you at least still have the tights with that thing on the front? What's it called? A merkin? Cod piece. Merkin is a pubic wig. Right. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. I remember you used to make the tassels twirl around. Ooh, still do. Anyways, I'm not sorry you two came into my bar that night and we got to share so much. Y'all have a beautiful friendship. 
and I think it's gonna last. I'm glad I could help. Peace. That was, I don't even know. I think there was some weird shit in my pre-Trump ice cream. Remember that reality? <laughs> like a dream. Thank you all for watching. Shots, 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 I don't know, like two weeks or something. So bam. Yeah, everyone stay safe. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.